Well, okay, it's the morning, and uh, are we going in the right direction? Not bad. Um, whoa! Cripes! Um, I might just bring the square cell up. You know, it probably isn't going to be brilliant. Or at least to there. Maybe even to there. Oh no, what the blazers. This is a storm we're getting caught in here. The storm's there, storm's there. The wind's behind us though. <gasps> the wind's behind us. The wind is pretty much behind us. Oh, hang on. Let's take advantage. Sail down. Sail down. I'm going to pull it in so that it's like straight oh craps let you out a tad pull you in a tad I'm gonna sat I wanna go more to the right actually I like the rain sound on the roof. Oh no, this, oh no. Oh no! The wind's gone wrong. The wind's changed drastically here. Right, let's pull this up. Oh no, not you. It's okay, you wrong. Let's pull this up. The wind's gone completely different now. Right, okay, you're up. We should be going forwards again at some point. Let me have this back in there. You're actually in my way. You can probably go back up here. Okay, we're going south. let uh, this out a bit whoa okay too far to the left there uh, to the right I mean The wind is coming from the front now, which isn't great. I think we've got back to normal wind situations. We may have to go. I mean, if I, can, I could keep this and pull this in again. Quite sure what to do with the waves just washing over us. We're not really tipping, but we do have water coming in. I think the storm is, is going that way it's past us. We just need to uh, survive the wind, the aftermath of the wind. Out is up. Should I bring the jib up? Should I bring the jib up? It's just a washing over the starboard side. Now the wind is like that again. Are we just... 
It just turns. We need to stay in this general direction. Yeah, I don't think this is the time for a square sail right now. Not unless we've got the wind the right behind us. Uh, let's get the your southeast. And then let's have a look at the wind. It's not bad if you had. So, I'm so tempted to take advantage of some of the wind here by taking it down a little bit. And then going, pulling in this, pulling this in a oh, letting this out a little bit. A tiny bit. Face the right way again. Pull you in. Let you out. Have a look over here. Um, let's have a look at this. Just still not really going forwards much. Bring you up. You may have done less good than all you in. I feel like because the wind, we're tight to the wind, we need to have the jib tight. I'd like it if uh, they fix it so it doesn't fly in the air. It still looks like another about three or four knots. <laughs> just just walking speed. Oh, right. We're never, we're never going to get anywhere. Wind again is directly from the south. Struggling to maintain the correct course. Now it's just changed. Now it's coming from southwest. Whoa! Um, we're going east. This ship is a struggle, you know. It is a struggle to get going anywhere. It's not. It's not for beginners. I wouldn't mind if the wind changed kind of like every so often, but we got a continuous north wind. The wind does seem like it's come from southwest now. 
that's true, and not just some kind of relative win situation, then that would be a lot better. In fact, just going straight forward from here would be brilliant. If we could just maintain this direction. Right there. Don't turn right, don't turn left, just go straight. Just go straight. If I can get us going straight, and then bring down the square cell. I know that would tip us. If I bring it in a bit tighter here before we drop it. Like that. Drink some water, Pothos. Stay hydrated. Just like in real life. While we're doing that, we've turned a bit too much, but that's okay. The wind is now saying it's coming from southwest. The sky is looking clearer, but anyway, yeah. Okay, so let's drop this. See how it looks. See how it affects things. It's going to change the direction of us a bit. Are we going towards the right or the left? Okay, left a bit, left a bit. The wind wants the sail to be in line with the wind. Let's turn us to the right a bit. That means the rudder can go left a bit. Okay. Not too much though, calibrate it a bit more to the right. bit more again. It's a fine line, it's a fine line. This this real wind physics is a bit of a situation. Alright, let's have some fish. We're gonna need to catch some more at some point. Gotta keep constantly on this wheel. Bit left there. Quick check of this before it changes direction. Come on. More than four knots. I'm happy if that if we're going the right way. Relatively. If we could stay on a stable course. Enough to sleep with. Right, where's the fishing line? If we can catch two now, before bed, and two after bed, that'd be good. Right, compass up. Make sure we don't change direction. Okay, we've hooked one. We're still going a good direction. Don't break, don't break, Porthos. Don't break it. The black fin fish, we're still going in the right direction. This is going well, still got a hook. Okay, the plan is catch one more before bed. Oh, I think we are going, we are turning a little bit more than I'd like. Not the worst though, not the worst. Another fish hooked. Trout. Maybe one more before it gets properly dark. I think the wind's alright actually, you know. The wind's actually behind us for once. The wind actually, for once, is alright. I think I'd like to sleep while the wind's good, you know. I feel like we're moving at a decent speed. I'm going to bring this in. Now it's probably night time now. Let's get let's get this in and just uh, stick to the plan. Two before bed, two after. We could those tomorrow maybe. Good direction. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night everybody. Let's get a bed. Pretend it's not happening. Good night, everybody. <laughs> OK. 
okay, it's still it's starting to get light. We're getting hungry, so we didn't sleep very well, but uh, I kept going back to sleep again. Are we going the right direction? Uh, we've been in the better directions. We're not the worst direction. So, yeah. Let's get to the right a bit. Oh, are we going backward? <laughs> the wind has changed. Let's just bring this up. The wind has changed. Okay, so it is 25 to 6 in the morning. We've got 6 hours. I want to try and get our navigational situation sorted with the sundial at midday if we can. But first of all, let's try and catch a fish. I think I might need to pull this in. Fishing in the morning, what could be better? Maybe some good wind. And... Straight on. That's a bit risky, you know, sometimes. I feel like doing that I might lose it overboard. We did lose a hook, unfortunately. So, there we go. Down to 15 hooks in that box. It's the struggle this episode. This episode is just a, a lesson on perseverance, I believe. Sometimes you're pushing the rock uphill. Sometimes you're fighting against the wind. Sometimes nothing seems to be going your way. But as long as you're going your way, no matter how slowly, eventually you will get to your destination. That's a theory. But you join me at a point where I can't say that for 100% sure. So we're going on faith and an optimistic outlook on life, fish and sailwind. Fair winds, mariners. Fair winds. Fair winds and calm seas. And we've lost a hook. But we've gained a fish. So let's cook it. We're going to have to bring down a square cell. Um, let you out a bit. Generally right direction, bring you down. I was worried that we weren't even going forward with them. Don't go too far around. I know what you like. You don't. You like to go too far around, and then. It's all stuck in the wind. You like it to tip us, don't you? You like to tip us. Let's go a bit left because I don't want you tipping us. Got to pay a lot of attention to the wind, to the sails, to the steering wheel, to the direction. Everything is always constantly changing. The fish are constantly getting caught, getting cooked. The hooks are constantly getting broken. Ah! The waves constantly want to come in. They're constantly getting thirsty. Um, 
so far we're tipping a bit but we uh we changed direction quite a lot there took my eye off for a second okay one fish is cooked so i'm gonna eat this because we are hungry there we go we're starting to starve there Oh, hang on, what time is it? Oh, no, it's still not midday. Oh, they're cooked. Lovely. There we go. Go to the right, please. Ah oh, man, okay. Pull you up because I think you're getting. Pull you up for a bit. I think we do need to figure out exactly where we are on the map according to like left and right so that we can figure out then and decide then the correct direction that's optimal to go. I just kind of want to make sure we haven't gone too far past it, that's all. So it's out a bit. So what we've got here is we're steering to the right. We've got half main mast, just to catch a bit of wind. And because it's calm, I think we can do that. We might be, might even be able to do... Oh, I've missed it again. No, I've missed it. No! I mean, oh. I missed midday. But that's like 37, I think. I think we're around 37. We probably want to go southwest, I would have thought, but who knows? Who knows? As long as we don't fall off the edge of the map. Going that way now, pull this a bit. Try and maintain going straight. Uh, I mean, this is okay if we can maintain it. I really did want a navigational sundown thing to be done, but I missed midday. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I get distracted. Black Flint. Still going in a roughly good direction, southeast. The plan is, I think, if we just carry on until we're in line with it and then go west, we should be able to see it. As long as we don't fall off the edge of the map. Oh, hang on. Why are we rocking? I think we're okay. Are we okay? Come on, fish. Another black fin. Let's put this down a bit. I want to make sure we uh, are safe here. Safety first. Danger never takes a day off. We could probably pull this in a bit here. Keep us a bit steadier. 
How's the wind now? Wind's like wind's not even the wind's not coming directly from the cell. What's that about? Come on, to the right a bit. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I, I get worried about saying the wind's looking good at the moment because it changes back to the worst wind in the world again, if you say that. Oh, this this will be the last fish we need for a full stove. If we can hook it, cook it, and uh, I can't think of another word to rhyme. Wow, another eel. What crabs? I thought he was going to escape there. Close on for a second. Yeah, let's get a double eel stove cooked. That should be an achievement. It should be an achievement for cooking four eels at once. That would be good. I think we're making decent speed, actually. Yeah, not bad. Six knots. We could even go further south. Like, at least to there. I think that's okay. It gets dark at 7 p.m. What the? Um, do we see the North Star there? So a little look see here. I think it's about 36, you know. But I feel like we might be turning there. No, we're okay. Do you know what? I'm gonna. We'll cook this while we sleep. And uh, it's, it's early still, isn't it? It's only, it's only at 8 p.m. Quarter to 8. I think we're good. Let's turn this out. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Okay, we're working out because we're hungry. Uh, it was expected. Roughly the right direction. Let's have an eel. But that wasn't very fitting. Please not get cooked. Did I get burned? Oh crap, how'd they that oh that's not right. It's how when God burnt them because we cooked them asleep. Even though it was only one firewood. What a rapscallion of the highest order. I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Two eels. Oh well. I'll try and catch some fish and I'll see you in a, in a bit. Okay, note to self, try not to cook while you're sleeping. That's a shimmer towel. That is a shimmer towel. It's a shimmer towel. A blue shimmer towel. Is there any other colour? Now that is actually a good omen. That means that we are in the southern hemisphere. As far as I know, or Salwind. The Salwind Southern Hemisphere. Kushima Towers do not exist or live up in the fur in the top quarter of the um of the map that exists today. There is rumour that the map's gonna be expanded maybe or there's gonna be new islands added. 
I'm not sure if they're going to be within the realms of the existing map. I'm guessing they will be outside of it. We've still got these guys though. And these are from the north. As far as I knew. Two black pins, one trim out. Whoa, nearly lost that one. Not quite sure why it went crazy though. Alright, let's cook here. Are we getting short on firewood? I'd love to sleep, but we can't because we might burn the fish. Don't burn the shimmer tail. Let's double check the north dart. Ooh, look at that. 35 and a half maybe, 36. That is like, that's, that is, okay, we need to stop going south. We need to, we need to figure out if we're east or west of Happy Bay. I think we're probably to the east and then go, um, then go west. In fact, stop going south. Go, if we went, I think we probably need to go east. No, west. I bet the winds change to be the opposite of what we want now. That's why the winds changed. In fact, what we might do is just bring the sows up. I don't want to go any further south, really. Not really. No. I don't want to go any further south. Um, let's bring these up. Let's bring the jib up. We're just going to drift for the rest of the night and then figure out if we want to go east or west. Because I think we are in line. That's the North Star there, the middle one. Yeah, we're pretty much in line there. Come on, stop. I might just eat this fish shimmer tail now. I think that's cooked. Oh yeah, the shimmer towels cook really fast, don't they? That was one of the reasons I love them so much, and they're really quite filling. Yes. In fact, it's getting towards... Um, it's getting light now. Okay, the Blackfin Hunters are cooked. I'm just going to take these guys off so they don't burn. And... Um, we stand up all night when we didn't want... <laughs> We stayed up all night. Uh, I'm going to sleep and hopefully we awake before midday. What time is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't sleep that long. Let's sleep now. And at midday, hopefully we'll wake up before midday and be able to track. Wait, oh, hang on. Oh, I left a lantern on, didn't I? Darn it, never mind. Okay, some more. Oh, look at the sea! Look at the sea! The sea is green! Emerald green. And it's two hours until midday. And we can check exactly where we are if we're east or west of Happy Bay. And then we'll know which way to go. And the end of the voyage! It's within our grasp, there's light at the end of the tunnel of one of the hardest voyages we've ever done. The question is, will we finally be able to use the chronometer and the sundial compass at midday to find out a correct position on the map? Will we go in the correct direction, east or west? Will we see Happy Bay through the telescope? Will we get there safely and soundly? Will you subscribe? And will you leave a like? Find out all this and more in the next episode of Lady Cassiopeia Goes South in the Southwind. And as always, I've been Potos, you've been awesome, goodbye! Let me know what you thought in the comments, I love reading them. Goodbye now, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.